Hey there, quirky folks! I'm your host, Anna, and today we'll be looking into the future of the Fast franchise beyond the finale. We're headed towards the beginning of the end of The Road in Fast 10. It is Dom's penultimate movie before he goes on one last ride. Initially, the Fast saga was supposed to end with part 10, but then Fast 10 was turned into a two-part finale, and Dom's journey is supposed to end in this finale along with a few others. I strongly believe that he will go down making a huge sacrifice play. He will be killed off like Tony Stark, Logan, and James Bond. But I don't believe that the Fast and Furious movies will come to an end after Fast 11. This franchise has been going strong for 22 years. It has launched 10 movies till now, which have grossed over $6.6 .6 billion worldwide. So it's a no-brainer that these Fast and Furious movies make a lot of money for Universal. And at the end of the day, the studio would like to churn as much income as they can out of their major IP. Vin Diesel has been a producer on almost all these films, and it's needless to say that he has totally delivered. So, even after Dom's potential death, the Fast and Furious franchise could continue in four more ways. There are enough popular characters in the franchise who would carry it forward with four upcoming projects, and Diesel could be the producer on at least three more projects. The first movie following Fast 11 could be Hobbs and Shaw 2. Dwayne Johnson may not want to return in Fast 11, but after Dom dies, Hobbs will be the only alpha left besides Deckard Shaw. So, Dwayne Johnson could certainly return to pay off the setup that came at the end of Hobbs and Shaw. Hattie Shaw could also be back. And most importantly, Ryan Reynolds will also join the squad of Hobbs and Two Shaws. Since Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam stint did not work well for him, he should return to what he does best. And one of his successful movies was Hobbs and Shaw, which went on to make $760 million worldwide. So clearly, the Fast Saga could afford to have at least one more Hobbs and Shaw movie. For now, Dwayne Johnson is going to be busy with Red Notice 2 and 3, and he is supposed to work on a live-action Moana movie after that. But once Fast 11 comes out by 2025, he could get ready to film Hobbs and Shaw 2 in 2026 so that the sequel arrives in 2027. We still don't know who the head of E.T. on is, and there's also a mystery surrounding the father of Luke Hobbs. So, it'll be interesting if Hobbs and Shaw 2 would solve these mysteries. And it would also connect with the second project based on Mr. Nobody's Agency. Dom might perish, but his brother Jacob will still be alive. And as we've seen already, John Cena's Jacob Toretto is also a bona fide badass. He used to work for Mr. Nobody, so he could always go back to the agency, which will also involve other skilled agents like Ames. With Mr. Nobody being missing, Alan Ritson's Agent Ames has become the new leader of his agency, and those who have seen Reacher on Amazon Prime would know how amazing Ritson could be in an action movie role. He and John Cena could team up in a spin-off movie, and they could also be joined by Scott Eastwood's little nobody from The Fate of the Furious. Who knows, maybe the spy agency could bring in another big-name actor or actress to join their squad. Besides this spin-off, the franchise should also get an all-female spin-off. We've heard talks of an all-female Fast and Furious movie for a while now. By the time we reach Fast 11, we'd already have characters like Letty, Mia, Ramsey, Elle, and Brie Larson's Tess. So, there are enough characters here to pull off another great Fast and Furious outing. But there's a possibility that Gal Gadot's Giselle will also return in Fast 11. With Gadot being out of the Wonder Woman gig, she has already shown interest in coming back as Giselle. So, she could also be added to the all-female squad. That way, we'd have both Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel starring in a single movie, and they'd actually be led by Letty, who is a pre-established badass of this franchise. Her performance in Dungeons & Dragons was also loved by many. So, there's no denying the fact that she has still got it. But after the all-star female film, one final project in the Fast franchise could be Tokyo Drift 2. Among all the movies I talked about, the possibility of a Tokyo Drift sequel to happen is the least. But it would be great if Universal could come up with a low-budget movie, or perhaps even a series. The Fast franchise has already reunited Han and Sean from Tokyo Drift. So after Fast 11, these guys would continue to star in another project set in Tokyo. And to increase the excitement, even Tej and Roman could be added to this project. Maybe a couple of female characters like Giselle and Ramsey could also come in towards the final act. This way, at least four more projects could be spawned out of the Fast Saga after Dom's story ends in Part 11. Would you guys like to see more Fast and Furious movies after Fast 11? Or do you think we've already got enough? Which of our ideas would you prefer? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.